So does a third party candidate have a greater chance of securing the White House? That's the question some people have asked after President Biden announced that he's not going to seek re-election. Fox 43's Robert Stover joins us and shares what an area political science expert has to say about it. Yeah, Evan, well, in 1992 is when Ross Perot received 19% of the presidential vote. That's the highest of any third party candidate to date. Today, we explore the chances an independent candidate has in 2024's election. Historically, third party candidates have struggled to compete against Republicans and Democrats in the presidential election. Professor Allison Dagnus from Shippensburg University describes it as an uphill battle. They have to not only get on the ballots in all 50 states or as many states as possible, um, that's very difficult to do if you are not affiliated one of, with one of the two major political parties. But third party candidates could see more support following President Biden's withdrawal from this year's presidential election. Dagna says candidates like Robert F. Kennedy Jr., a former Democrat now running as an independent, are on the top of some people's list. When that happens and people are, are dissuaded from either supporting the two candidates who are running or it really just dissuaded from politics, period. However, Biden's endorsement of Kamala Harris as the Democratic nominee could take some attention away from other candidates. The journalist research company, Journo Research, reports Harris gained more than 268,000 followers across social media since being endorsed. It really is going to put the onus on RFK Jr. and any other third party candidate to make a stronger case for their election as opposed to a negative campaign against the other two candidates. Dagnus says it would take a lot for a third party to garner enough support, especially at this point in the election cycle. In order for a third party candidate to rise would be if that dissatisfaction on the part of the electorate was still so palpable um, and that the voters were still so displeased by both candidates that they really were eager for another option. Longtime West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin recently switched from the Democratic Party to Independent. There have been talks as to if he would throw his name into the race. He confirmed today in a CBS interview he will not. Dagnus went on to say how most third party campaigns end due to a lack of funding. According to the Federal Election Commission, R.F. Kennedy Jr.'s campaign raised over $5 million in June but remains $3 million in debt. Evan. Robert, did Professor Dagnus offer any insight as to how RFK Jr. has managed to stay in the race? Evan Dagnus says that because RFK Jr.'s family has roots in politics, his name is more recognizable compared to other third party candidates, which could explain how he's maintained his campaign. Robert Stover, Fox 43 News.